Oh my God. Oh my God. That's my, that's my personal best. Made it to Lake Seminole. Finally, ready to do some fishing. I'm staying at Spring Creek Resort, Big Gems Fish Camp, something like that. And uh, when I checked into my cabin, the lady said that their fish were biting and that she's seen several big ones pulled out right here by the cabin. So I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna get everything set up, get settled in, and then I'm going out tonight. The fish are biting. Time to go rip some lips. Fucking amateur here. Rod's getting all tangled up. This has not been a good start. Camera problems, boat problems, angler problems. Man, I am I am already frustrated. Didn't get stumped. Alright. And the Cinco does it. Like always. You can always count on the Cinco. First fish, Lake Seminole. Woo! That's two. There's number two. Little fella. There we go. Freaking bowfin. Bowfin. Screw you, Bowfin. There we go. Little better one. Oh! Nice, nice, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's my that's my personal best. Oh my god, dude! He's freaking huge. Yes. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Where's Walt? He's over there. Holy crap. Oh, that is my biggest bass ever, boys. That is a big fish. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm shaking, boys. I am shaking. Seven fifteen, baby. Seven fifteen. Yeah. Cinco, baby. The Cinco never disappoints. Why would you fish with anything but a Cinco? I don't know. Oh my God, man. <laughs> Woo! Think I'm losing light, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it for the night as far as filming. I'm gonna keep fishing, cause I'm hardcore like that. But, I will be back first thing in the morning to smash more Mondos. Eventful morning so far. Except that I left my GoPro, GoPro remote back on the dock. I got out, had to go out like 15 minute paddle out to the lake and then went to go turn my cameras on. No dice. Had to turn around, go all the way back to the dock. I lost like 45 minutes fishing this morning. Not a happy camper. Um, we haven't had any bites yet. Throwing the Whopper Plopper. Throwing the Watermelon Senko. That's about it. I'm out here on Lake Seminole and what I'm targeting, what I'm targeting is grass. Um, like grass walls. So really thick grass edges. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never fished on Lake Seminole before, um, and as I as I always say, if you've watched my channel before, I'm not a great fisherman, so I'm kind of just figuring it out as I go. But I'm targeting uh, grass walls, like I said. Um, I'm looking for somewhere that's really thick, and then it kind of falls off. That's what I'm targeting. That's where I'm seeing the most bait moving in that really thick grass. So I'm fishing the edges. Um, and it's been pretty productive. We fished... Uh, I've only caught one this morning, but... I just kind of got started too, so... Better fish. Oh, shoot! <clears throat> oh, that was a good fish. Morning is over. Not a whole lot happened this morning. Caught one little one. One decent one got off. Root spit the hook. Fished around all morning. We started at daylight at like 6 o'clock. And uh, it's 11.30 now, just nothing. I was fishing with the two other guys and they caught one fish, one decent fish, but slow, slow morning. Be back at it this afternoon. Fish. Yeah, little one. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for me today. Rough day. Morning and evening. I landed three or four fish. And most of those were like in the last 15 minutes. Not my best effort. Not sure what I did wrong. I definitely could not figure the fish out today, but that's how it goes. Um, I got one more shot, 
in the morning at Lake Seminole, and then I gotta go home. So hopefully tomorrow works out better. Well, that's it for me on Lake Seminole. I had a fantastic time fishing. I didn't catch as many big fish as I wanted. I only got one. Uh, and, um, you know, the fishing was tough only because, really because I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> like I've said many times, I'm not the greatest fisherman in the world. And I don't really understand uh, some of the tactics that you need to be successful on this lake as far as I've never used them before, so it's a little bit new to me. So I was learning. This was a good learning experience for me. What a great trip. If you're gonna come fish Lake Seminole, you might wanna consider staying at this place. The uh, I'll put a link to it in the description below, but I mean, access to the lake is awesome. There's, um, there's not a whole lot around close by, so it's nice to have access to a restaurant right here. Um, pretty good place overall. I cannot wait to come back to uh, Lake Seminole and do some more fishing. Thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate you guys checking it out. Uh, check out some of my hunting and fishing videos, and then you guys get outdoors.